Team November, this is Ranger HQ. A couple vehicles rolled up and set up right outside our base. Real shady characters. Their leader is a woman named La Perla, who claims to have business with the Rangers, but won't specify what it is to us. Ring any bells? Copy that, November. We'll have them hold outside until you return. Over and out. So we gonna get to a vendor now, do the buy, trade, sell, Rangers whatever, human smuggling conspiracy. and Some we'll continue from arrested. there. Next stop should be the flats complex, like the apartment Maybe complex, the do like where we had that people. other, the neighbor that is complaining about the noise. I'm gonna check on her. Hey, you chums! Welcome to Taiwan Jones's Emporium, Sergeant Lee. All right, so we got a lot of ammo, sold a lot of junk, and other things. Buzzkill. We gotta do this. We need to go to Little Ve Vegas. This is Little Vegas. You don't have to yell, Charlie. Oh, sorry. Glad I got a hold of you, Red Hat friends. Your old friend Charlie is at it again. I found a way to increase our fortunes. How does that sound? Over! Yeah, but could you stop yelling? I mean, fortune is great and all. Ha ha! I mean... <laughs> I Charlie knows you visited the bazaar, and you know how important it is to trade in Colorado. And more importantly, how wealthy it is. Problem is, the monster army holding it is weak. Without your help, they'd already be gone. But sooner or later, someone is going to wipe them out. So why not make it a cartel stronghold? With your help, it'll be easy, and you'll be well compensated. Thousand for your bucks, Charlie's key card. Don't know what that is, but yeah, sounds good. Why would you want to work with us after what happened in Little Vegas? Well, since Mr. Brigo is gone, Charlie has found himself bereft of gainful employment. But when opportunity comes knocking. Who does Charlie know who's efficient and can handle themselves in a fight? You help me with this, and there'll be no hard feelings about the nightclub business, Red Hats. It's simple economics. Why would we trust you? Why wouldn't you? I dealt straight with you so far, right? Didn't I tell you the truth about McTavish? Don't I always tell you the truth? Come on, Red Hats, it's me, your old buddy Charlie. What does well compensated mean? Don't worry, your old buddy Charlie won't sell you short. We just need a little assistance and you'll be paid right. handsomely. My cat came to say hello. Alright, let's do it. I knew you'd say that. Alright, we have a hideout not far from the bizarre entrance, near the old parking lot. We'll hold up there and wait for you. Bring your whole team, and the bazaar will be ours. Oh, shit, I don't want to take over the bazaar. Oops. Ew, old people. Troy, do something! What are they doing here? What do you want, lamos? Ah, uh, shut this shit down now. Who the fuck are you? Fuck off. Uh, you can't tell us what to do. Get out before we throw you out. We're not going anywhere. You don't know who right. you're messing with, bros. Do you know no, who my daddy is? don't care either. Smoking teen, smoking teen. 
Dancing team, dancing team. Ew, old. Ignore them and maybe they'll go away. The disco bot is pumping out thumping beats. The kids love it. They're dancing like crazy. Right. Oh. This. Oh no. This just murder teens. Let's go with nerd stuff. Hack the disco bot so it plays the worst mu music ever. Oh god! This is the worst music ever. Make it stop! Good. Party's getting stale. Where else can we go? Ew. Ugh, you again. You smell like my grandpa! Great party, yeah. Is that the same disco bot? No way, it's like my dad's or something. I just brought it for the party. Uh, yeah. Do you even know who Troy's dad is? He's you like guys totally seem rich. Like a cute couple. Psh, yeah. Troy and Brandy forever, right, babe? Yeah, as long as you keep your eyes on me. Not all those other hussies. Ugh, babe, I told you you're the only one for me. You better help it, or we're done. Just like last week. Right. Or three weeks ago. So, Troy, I heard you can throw a ball, like, real, really far. You know it, babes. Only person who broke the record I set at 17 was me. When I turned 18. <laughs> Maybe I can give you a little private demonstration later. Troy! What the fuck, Troy? I'm right here! Jeez, Brandy, calm down. We're just talking about sports. Just talking, Troy? Just fucking talking? Like you were just fucking talking to Heather last week? Fuck you, Troy. Not again. Brandy, baby! No! Come back! Teenage girls are so volatile. <laughs> What were we talking about? What'd you say your names were again? Right. You guys suck. You are totally harsh and why don't you just leave us alone? Oh, it's gonna get worse. Much worse. Fuck it. Party sucks anyway. Suck an egg, Jerry's. Hey. Let's return to Rosie Wong in downtown. Team November, I just went by R&D and saw some pretty crazy new gear just ready and waiting for you. You should head back and see it when you get the chance. Over and out. Thank you. Time to get some doggies. Mega crit. Nice. Combat speed, that's not bad. No, no, no. Already have one. Now oh, it's a uh, bell's turn. Good. Why is he not coming with us? Why is he not coming with us? What? What did you say? Oh, I cannot have the same type. Oh, that sucks. Okay, that very sucks. Madnik leveled. So lock picking it is. Actually, no. No. Uh, undo. Yeah, I'm gonna save those points. I know. It's weird, but I'm gonna save those points. Yeah. Nice. Very lucky. Very, very confirmed. I'm gonna save those points as well. But I still kick myself in the ass for picking those. Just wasted like six egg, six skill points. Could invest somewhere else. 
Okay, before we do another loading screen, bus kill. I think let's inform Rosie. Rosie, she's here, right? In the complex. There you go, Rosie. Hey, Rosie. The noise stopped. Thank you, Rangers. I can sleep at last. And so can my cat. Here, a little something for your trouble. And I'm gonna send a special surprise to your clubhouse or headquarters or whatever you call it. Nah, nah, I'm not saying what it is, but you'll love it, I promise. Now go on, I'm a busy w Thanks, Rosie. I'm sure we'll see you soon. Yeah. Come on, kitties. The noise is over. You can come out now. Okay. All right. All right. I gave you the pleasure of not seeing me running around, whatever. Just loading it here. Quick save. I don't like this. Slaver. Slaver, slaver, slaver. Hola, Rangers. Alright. Just in case. Got some business for you. Just in case. If you have the cojones. Just in case. Hola, Rangers. Hola, Rangers. Got some business for you, if you have the cojones. Okay, quick save. Got some business no. for you. Oh my god, I thought I shot her. Fuck my life. Woman stands like a queen among a gang of hard men. She gives you a sleepy, dangerous smile. <laughs> Peace, strangers. We all know both sides are armed and lethal, so... Why don't we just skip the posturing and get to business, huh? A girl I own ran away recently. And it's proving harder than expected to track her down. She seems to sense us when we get too close. You, on the other hand, should never suspect. <laughs> Hell, with your reputation for rescuing little lost lambs, she might even seek you out. So, what you say, hmm? Want to find her for us? A girl you own? Are you slavers? <laughs> that bothers you? You find it unethical? You kill crazy corpse-robbing, tyrant-funded gun jockeys are offended at how I make my living? Sorry, compadres. This is the end times. Nothing but us devils left. Who are you? I'm La Perla. And this? She swept an arm out to encompass her re... re what? Retine? Retainee? Retain? I don't know. Whatever. Like her group. Her, uh, what do you call it? The entourage, so to speak. Are my boys. What's the girl's name? Nelly. No. Hallie, I think. Anyway, her new owner will rename her. What's important is her description. Okay. Early 20s, blonde, shapely, skinned like a princess. You'll know her when you see her, I promise you. She'll make your little hearts go Peter Pat. <laughs> What's in it for us? What are you doing? Why are we even talking to this slaver? Take it easy, farm girl. Leave matters of business to the adults, huh? You know the sealed rooms in your base? Bet you're curious what's inside them. Bueno, I'll tell you for free. It's old world tech. The kind people waged wars for. And... I know the codes. 
In the name of good faith, I'll give you one now. Nine zeros. You'll get the second code. The one that gets you into the room with the even better goodies. When you bring me my lost little lamb. How do you know this? How do you know about these sealed rooms? He used to stay here all the time before we moved east. Had plenty of time to explore all its nooks and crannies. Hey, don't worry. No hard feelings about you taking it over. We like our new home on the plains. <laughs> Those warlords have a lot of money to spend. I'll get back to you. Chasing down a pretty little girl is too intimidating? Ay, que triste. Far as I know, she's still somewhere in Colorado Springs. Suggest you start looking downtown. We'll be here. Find some courage. Right. What if I'll talk to her again? Made up your mind, finally? Do we have a deal? Choices. I help her, which means I help a slaver, but that benefits us in opening a, a nukes base or bombs or whatever. But then again, it's preferred to that it will stay locked because, come on, we're, we're in the shit because of nukes. Uh, you know what? Chasing the far as I will be here. I'll quick save when you find some courage. Actually, I'll normal save. Slavers. And tell them to fuck off. Made up your mind finally? And I thought you were more enlightened than that. Oh well. Yes, someone else will be finding our lamb for us. On the other hand, if I load it. So, I just had a thought, if I'll help her, not really help her, but I'll agree to help her, right? She will give me the code and then I can kill her. Made up your mind, finally? Free the, the girl. Do we have a deal? Sure. Ah, gracias, friends. Send her here once you find her. Tell her you found her mama and she's waiting for her. Far as I know, she's still somewhere. Adios, compadres. Right. Anyone else? They did say they're like some women. He still cries about. Glad I landed this job. Being stretched with bombs or whatever. All right. So. The machines at the airport decided you were jerks. We are That's jerks. Me, huh? Here to serve. Good. <clears throat> Please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so angry. The hell they're in! My people didn't start that fight. One of your rangers started it. And now you're telling me we gotta be the ones to give up our sp- I'm just saying. Oh, Team November. I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the barracks. An altercation? Nothing serious. No one was hurt. Some harsh words and a shove. Sergeant Gretzky's already put the recruit on latrine duty. A fair punishment. Okay. Yeah, well, this isn't the first time your recruits have had harsh words for us rangers. You need to get your people under control. Gretzky's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. More new rangers every day, which is great for our mission. But it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in shifts. This is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well, freeloaders. Usually, it's just snide comments. But today, one of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull Davy off his cot which is completely unacceptable behavior. Unfortunately, the problem is not going to go away if we ignore it. We need a solution before things explode. 
Any suggestions? Well, the warden here suggested we move into the brig. I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. We were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. But things have changed since then, and they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be flexible. So this wasn't the first incident. There have been plenty. Most of your rangers are all right with us, but there's more than a few who ain't. Calling us names as they walk past, or telling us we're on borrowed time here, in our own home. Miss Hackett, I'm embarrassed. Part of the oath we take as rangers is to protect the downtrodden. It hurts to hear that our recruits are failing to live up to that oath. Something must be done. Yeah, well, we're waiting. We got to get a handle on this one way or the other. Enough chaos going on outside the base. Don't need it when we get home, too. Shoot. When we make a deal, we stick to it. Now... No, I don't want to kick them out. I'll move them to the brig. An excellent idea. You'll have more space, and it will keep you away from the malcontents. What? Oh, nice. Wastelander re refugees liked. That helps. You know, we always try to do the right thing, uh, the right by... What? You know, we always try to do right by Colorado's refugees. This situation isn't perfect, but this way we can guarantee your people's safety and shelter. Yeah. <sighs> I guess you're right. I'll try to sell it to my people. Then... I appreciate your efforts to honor our deal under changing circumstances. Oh, they're not gonna like this. Yep. Big, uh... We heard. Uh -huh. Y'all might be able to help us. Okay, those are the women. Hello. The woman is stout as a cattle, green-faced and hatchet-nosed. Nosed, yeah? Nosed, sure. Her clothes are plain, but judging by their cleanness, they may have been the best she owes. Rangers. Hello. These ladies remind me of my mama back home. My name's Betsy. If you don't mind, we've got a request for you. Shoot. Me and the girls here. We got family who were arrested a while back and put to hard labor at the Patriarch's work camp. Thing is, we've no clue where it is. And the marshals won't say a lick on the subject. She falls into an ex what? Expect expectant silence. Sorry, I'm just, brain does not digest the words. The brain should not digest, but whatever. And you want us to go free your people. Nah, most of them deserve what they got. We don't have any issue with that. But knowing where they are? Oh, well, that'd help us sleep better at night. Okay. Figure out where they're holding our loved ones. That's all we're asking you for. And we'll damn well pay you for the privilege. Sure. We'll do it. Thanks. Her face gentles. And it becomes clear that Betsy isn't half as old as she appears. I wish we had more for you to work with, but the only thing we got is a name. Frank Pappas was a marshal in charge of shipping folks to the work camp. Do you know where he is? All we know is that he's retired and living somewhere downtown. Does he have any friends, family, who can help us find him? 
Someone at the Marshall Station might know something. They won't tell us anything. But you might be luckier. All right. When we'll find out, you'll know. We'll be waiting. No need to notify the civvies, but Frank's been taking his retirement at the Sands Lux Apartments. Never went far from the Marshalls. Daisy always kept the work camp pretty hush-hush. Most of us didn't know a thing about it, except that it's somewhere outside the city. Old Frank is ornery, but we can make him talk. Okay. He'll talk. One way or another, he will talk. <laughs> hey, Doc. Pretty sure the marshals are going to make the Reed kid have an accident in his cell. Since he helped the Dorseys get into the city, that's all right by me. What do you need, Rangers? All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna call it off. Unless something happened and you will see it, but I'm gonna call it off, do some shopping, and we'll continue with our adventure next time. Thank you for joining, guys.